All right, we're still going through our plot types, and we did a, a nice line plot. Very, very fancy. Very fancy. All right, now next we want to go, and let's do a scatter plot. Give me some more space here. All right, so this next one, and I already have, I'm not going to re-import these. I've already done this once before, so this is just kind of a continuation. So let's do a scatter plot. All right, so this scatter plot. will have X and Y data. Uh, and the X and Y data are just 24 random numbers between zero and two, and then adding four. Just kind of to center it up. The sizes and colors are also 24 random numbers using a uniform distribution versus a normal distribution used to generate the X and Y data. Okay, so we're talking about different kinds of distributions, right? So uniform, uni not uniform, uniform distribution. The X and Y data is gonna use a normal distribution, random, it's gonna pull from a normal random, a random sample from a normal distribution. Each size of the dots relates to the size of the two numbers, right? No, no, it doesn't. Actually, it just relates to the, relates to the size of the 24 random numbers, right, in the uniform distribution. <clears throat> All right, if you wanted bigger sizes or different colors, you change the range or you change the size. Both sizes and colors are defined and used when defining the variables S and C in the scatter command. All right, you'll see this. The V min and V max assign the maximum and minimum colors that can be used in the plot. All right. This is just kind of giving you the description of what you're about to see here. LEN or LENX for Y, um, sizes, I think I'm missing a, sizes, oops, yeah, LENX for Y, sizes and colors allows us to change the number of data points without changing too much of the code. 
All right, so let's take a look at the code and then this will become more apparent, all right? So let's make the data. All right, so here's our data. We want to, we're gonna start with a random seed and I'm gonna suggest that we're gonna use the same random seed um, that way it'll be reproducible. You know, you always start, it's not, random is not really random if you always start with the same seed. So we'll start with random seed of three. We're going to have x equals four plus np dot random dot normal. And I want to go from zero to two and I want 24 numbers. All right, y is going to equal 4 plus np random dot normal. And I want this also go to 0 to 2 and len of x means that I can go in here if I change x to be 40. I don't also have to go in here and change y to also be 40. All right, so len of x is the length of x, how many items are in x. That's what len x means. Okay, so that's the data. Now let's create the size of the dots and the colors of the dots. All right. Here we go. Sizes are going to equal, so this is the variable we're calling it sizes, is going to be np.random.uniform15 to 80. And how many do I want? Well, I want the length of x, right? See how this is working now? So I, I just define X and now I don't have to, if I wanted to change it and make it make more points, more data points, I don't have to go in and change this line and this line and this line. Colors is gonna equal NP random dot uniform. And I want 15 to 80 length of x. Okay, so now I've defined my sizes and colors. All right. And we can go through this and we can create this data. So we'll start with np random. Oh, sorry. I forgot something. It's not np random, it's np random seed. There we go. Now, there we go. And I can come up with my x, with my x variables, and then I can come up with my y variables. And I can also create my sizes. There's my size variable and my color variable. All right, all this is just numbers and these numbers will be, you know, it takes these numbers and it assigns different colors to it. All right, now let's do the plot, all right? So now this is gonna be pound. I wanna make sure that this is a cell. And what we're doing here is we are making the scatter plot. All right, so big AX is equal to PLT dot subplots. Okay. Next, we want ax dot scatter, right? Before, when we were doing the line, it was ax dot plot. Now we're doing ax dot scatter. So this is a different plot function. We want x, we want y, we want s, that's sizes to equal variable sizes, right? Over here, here's our sizes. We want c to equal the variable colors. All right, so I've already assigned this 
right? So I can go up here and make changes to this and then run the plot again and see something different. I want v min to equal 15, right? Remember v min is the maximum and minimum colors that can be used. And I want v max to equal 75, all right? I also wanna set my limit, so ax set. I want my x lim to equal that zero to eight. And I want my tick marks, my x ticks, to equal np dot arrange. Remember we did this, we did this up top. We've also seen a range before when we were looking at numpy. And I want my y limit to equal zero to eight. And my y ticks to also equal mp dot arrange from one to eight. Great, all right? So I think that's everything except one last line. We need to plt dot show. Excellent. All right. So let's make our data. Just run in this cell again. Our data is remade. And now let's run this cell and create the plot. So we've already got the line plot in there from before. Let's run this cell and see a scatter plot. And there's our scatter plot. Now I said play with this, right? Make do some stuff. Change this from 24 to 124. Okay? Redo your data and then redo your plot. Okay? We'll go back to 24. Or we'll stay with the 124. That's fine. I'll keep, I'll keep the same data. Change your color max. Maybe I want to go up to 150. Let's now run that. Run that. Run this cell and see what happens. Okay? It starts getting a little dark up there. Maybe I make this go down to 45. And then run this. All right? Gets a little bit more lighter colors. Right? Um, you know, maybe we go down to five and up to 120, right? Whoops. That's what happens when you click those little arrows, right? And then run this, see what happens, right? All this is about see what happens, right? 75 seems to be probably the best color distribution. So let's run it again. Yeah, that looks good. Um, you can make the sizes different. So let's make, let's make our sizes or how about this, right? Let's make our colors 125. And then we can also go up to 120 here. So, and then let's make our, our dots can be really big, make those 500. And we'll leave that. Okay, let's just try all this. So, so let's redo our data. And then let's redo our plot. Okay, again, it's just different things. You know, you want to change the uh, the random seed to, you know, ninety. Rerun your data, and then rerun your plot and see what happens. Right, all of this is play and see what happens. What or what do all of these things make it do? All right, so. I encourage you to kind of keep experimenting as you look at each of these different plots and play with these different variables, these different parameters in the plot and see if anything interests you.